Thanks for dropping by Visual Art Photography. I'm Ray Scott. Well, during this time of world crisis, uh, we find ourselves at home. And while things can be difficult and we're all worried and perhaps a little bit scared as well, uh, it's affording a lot of us a little more time to do a little photography. So, while a lot of our projects are obviously going to be at home, we can take advantage of that as well. Today, we're going to be shooting grapes, but not just shooting grapes. While we'll be worried about the composition of the grapes and so forth, what we're going to be looking to do is stylize the grapes and make them really, really different. Now, it's going to call for a lot of experimentation, and I think that's a great thing. I love to experiment with my photography, not worried ever about failure, because from failure, or from at least images that you're not happy with, can come some really interesting things as well. And keep in mind, they don't have to be interesting to everybody. They just have to be interesting to you. All right? So that's what it's about. Now, we are going to be getting up relatively close to the grapes, but you can use a macro lens, but you don't have to. You can use your uh, zoom lens if you want and zoom in close. And if it's not quite close enough, you can always crop uh, in post. But if you want to see macro work done with these grapes, you can go to my Macro World channel and I have a link below to that video that I have for macro grapes. It'll, that link right there below will take you to that video and you can see how we worked on uh, grapes macro style. Now, getting back to this one, it's about stylizing the grapes. It's about making them different. So let's get going on that. So this is what we're starting out with, just a bunch of grapes, but it can be messy if you're not careful in terms of the composition. So let's take a, a look at it the way we're shooting it. Now keep in mind that you don't have to have uh, a macro lens for this. You can use uh, a zoom lens at the longest focal length, and if you're not quite close enough after all of that, you can also crop in, in post, that sort of thing. Okay, so here it is. Now really important to this composition is the are the stems, all right? They're, they are forming uh, different shapes and even patterns at times and it's something you need to be aware of because if you aren't then you really end up with something messy and actually this looks kind of messy right but because we're going to be stylizing things uh, you'll see that um, it sort of comes together in a different way so uh, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to Photoshop and we're going to posterize the edges and you come up with something like this all right so now stylize posterize edges let's take a look at how you can do that. Here we are in Photoshop with the posterize image. So how did we get there? Well, let's get rid of that effect right now over here. All right, so now we're back to square one. What I did was I made sure that my image was in eight bits. It had been in 16 bits, but I put it into eight bits because that gives me total access to the filter gallery. But before we go to the filter gallery, let's go to the background layer. So what I did was I duplicated the background layer by hitting Command J. So I'm not working on the original photo. All right. Now we go up to filter, filter gallery, and it gets us into our filters. All right. Now I'm going to minimize this just a little bit so that we can see the, the whole image. And then what I did was I went to poster edges over here. You see that over here? And now you, you, can, you can try other things, as other effects as well. It's up to you. But I ended up on poster edges, and I set different edge thickness and intensity and posterization. And you can go through and move these sliders back and forth and get it to what you want. All right, so that's how I did it there. When you're finished with that and you like what you have, you hit OK. And you go back and you have your layer, OK? before and after. And that's how I got to the poster edges. All right, so we've seen how you can posterize edges in Photoshop. How about uh, something like this? Wow, that's nuts. It's crazy, but that's what this is all about. It's about experimenting. You're at home. Uh, you're filling your time with something new. Go crazy, all right? So this is something called Brilliant Fibers 3, and you can find it in a software called Topaz, Topaz Studios, all right? 
Now, again, I, I stress, I am not talking about you, you having to go out and get special softwares and things. There are all kinds of things online for free and all sorts of things. I'm not pushing Topaz or anything else for that matter. It's just what I have, it's what I'm using. And uh, I'm having fun. I'm having a blast with this, actually. So here you have these, the grapes now, they actually look like they're lit up and, uh, you know, fibers going through them and all kinds of things. It's, it's something that kind of caught my eye in this specialized, stylized thing that I was looking for. All right. And this is how you do it in Topaz really quickly. Again, it's not a tutorial on Topaz. It's just, this is how you do it quickly. We're back in Photoshop with our uh, brilliant Fibers 3 effect that we got out of Topaz. So as was the case in the first time, I changed my image from 16 bits to 8 bits. Always a good idea for when you're doing these things. A lot of filters will not allow uh, a large, a larger image like 16 bits. So I will deactivate the top layer here. And as was the case last time, I go to the background layer, hit Command J and duplicate that layer so that I'm not working on the original. And in this case, I go up to filter and then down to my Topaz Studio, go to Topaz Studio, wait for that to launch. And remember, you have all kinds of opportunities for all kinds of different effects. And over here on the left hand side of the Topaz, you have all kinds of different effects. All right. But I'm going to go to, rather than go through all of these, and I mean, there are, you know, there are a ton of them, and they all light up as, the, uh, as they get loaded. I'm just going to go to my favorites because it's a lot faster. And in my favorites, you see this brilliant fibers effect, and that's what I'm using there. All right? So it's as simple as that. And once you have your preset, once you've clicked on that, you can go over to the right-hand side and play around with all kinds of different adjustments and make it brighter or darker or more brilliant or less brilliant, anything you want. And then when you're finished that, you can end up clicking OK. And you've got your effect all set up there back in Photoshop for you to work on even more if you want to in Photoshop. You can always lower the opacity if you want uh, and make it a little less effect, like I can go over here and, and bring it bring it down tone it down. Maybe that's what you want to do. Or you can change blend modes, all kinds of different things. Anyway, <laughs> there's all kinds of time for you to, to work on this and, and just play around. That's what it's all about. Experimentation. All right, now we've seen that. Now let's change the composition just a little bit. All right, now you have the grapes au naturel and you have the, the stem going across and a little bit diagonal for a little bit of something dynamic. But I mean, let's face it, you look at this and it doesn't look so good, right? It doesn't even look appealing, but we're going to stylize it, all right? And again, we've gone to Topaz for this and use something called line and ink number four, and you come up with something like that. And again, you can go to whatever you want to go to and just try all kinds of different things. And some are gonna look absolutely hideous and some you might love and everything in between. It's all about experimenting, it's all about having fun. And you know something, you just might come up with something that you really enjoy. So uh, a little wild at times, but hey, that's what it's all about. And uh, it's going to be really, really interesting to see what you can come up with, uh, with, with grapes, stylized. I, I mean, come on. It could be anything and go for it. Why not? All right. Until next time, I'm Ray Scott reminding you it's not what you see, it's how you see it. And I'll see you soon.